Those are coming up closer to the end of the hour. But let's move on to this one. Now, I was talking to Jennifer earlier ab about the items that we had in the show, and she specifically mentioned the horse pendant from the Kingman Mine. And here it is. This, well, this is <laughs> for real. <laughs> okay, tell me why this one really caught your eye. Well, for, for me, growing up on the reservation, I've seen wild horses all my life. And uh, where I live, I live halfway up a mesa, and down below is like just fields of hay, you know, that is getting from, from the farmers. And across from that is a river and a little, another little mesa that comes up. And so during the spring, early spring, I would see the young horses come running down. And at that time, when that happens, the young kids throughout the area like to go running after the horses in the fields. And you'll see them trying to ride the horses and mm -hmm. uh, just uh, trying to play and have fun. And so uh, about an hour later, you see the, the kids back to back on each other uh, riding the horses mm -hmm. and and so what they say is that they the, the tribes come down the horses come down because you see the horses grow up and have their kids and come down Aww. so you, within that haze of you know the the early morning fog and the dirt you can hear them running down like thunder wow. and so you know that they're coming and so each and every time that they come the you can tell that the horses that always come down know who's around the area mm -hmm. and then so they'll sometimes they'll walk up to you and yeah. you know let you pet them they have their little colts co go running around but it's just a treasure to see something like that it is and they're and they're very smart animals yes they I mean, are they really are there's a there's a reason why there's just such a love of horses there's so many people who do love tried and true and i and i like that that, that the, that's depicted here i don't know if it's coming across as great as it will when you see it in person oh there you go um, but there are two horses, as you can see, two horses, beauty, and I love the mane and the, just the beauty of them. They kind of, they look like they're in motion. Yes. Coming down. And, um, and then of course, all of the detail around the, uh, the horses, all beautifully created in silver. And then of course, you have the three turquoise cabochons down uh, underneath. The bale on this is probably one of the biggest bales that I've ever seen. <laughs> and I like that because it is gonna be um, just the pendant. We do have that great chain, the one that Mel is showing you. That one is coming up in just a few moments, in about 90 seconds, actually. So if you need a great chain to go along with this pendant, please uh, go ahead and pick that one up, or you may even already have one. And if you do, you can see the bale is gonna be large enough to work with uh, pretty much any necklace you have. Even if you have like a, a strand of turquoise beads, this would be so, amazing on that because this is the kind of piece that is conversation worthy there are very few times where you're going to wear this and and you won't have someone say oh my gosh that's beautiful wow tell me about that um, and so if you're loving this one take advantage of the holiday price it's 259.90 the appraised value is $490 on this and I will tell you we don't even have a hundred of them. This was actually reordered because yes. it was so popular. I've, I've had a lot of people come, uh, call and talk to me about it. Um, just looking at this, this is something that you will find that's very unique. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. And, and the thing is, at this point now, we have what, 33 of them remaining, and that's it. I don't know if we're going to be able to reorder it again after it sells out, but you can definitely get this one now. All right.